Hello amigos, I'm Camilo Duarte, this is Base Robot, and in this video I'm going to explain what Fast API is. Fast API is a framework for building web APIs with Python. That's right, a tool that allows us to create backends, which I personally adore for how easy and fast it is to develop applications. Currently, Fast API boasts 62,800 GitHub stars, and this number continues to grow. This means that many people appreciate it, and the more individuals work with this technology, the greater its impact on our day-to-day -day lives. Moreover, Fast API is used by various companies. You might have heard of some of them, as it is on the list of Microsoft, Uber, Netflix, and of course, Base Robot. Well, it is not the company's main focus. They use it for specific tasks, as well as in research at CERN. Its popularity is well-deserved, as it is one of the fastest Python frameworks, thanks to its lightweight nature and integration with Ubicorn along with Pydantic, making it a highly versatile tool. However, we can talk about Fast API without mentioning its creator, Sebastián Ramírez, whom I admire greatly for his constancy and technical expertise. He's a true software reference. Sebastián is Colombian, specifically from the Paisa region, or as he mentioned, a mix of Bandeja Paisa and Ajiaco, due to his time in Bogota. His education took an interesting path. He never attended school or university, as all his learning was either at home or online. Nevertheless, he managed to secure a job in Germany and create Fast API, Typer, SQL Model, and Asinker. Furthermore, Sebastian attended to the 23 Platzi camp, and I was fortunate to get a picture with the great Sebastian. But enough talk, and let's get to coding and create an API in less than a minute with Fast API. First, let's use PCharm for this project. It will create a new folder called First Project within a folder named Fast API. What I like about PCharm is that it automatically sets up a Python virtual environment. I'm using Python 3.10, but feel free to use your preferred version. Once our project is set up, open your terminal and install Fast API using pip install Fast API. After installing Fast API, we'll install Ubicorn, which will run our server. Use pip install Ubicorn standard for this. Once Ubicorn and Fast API are installed, run pip freeze greater than symbol requirements.txt to generate a text file listing all the dependencies in your virtual environment. In this case, we see that we are working with Fast API version 0.103.1 and Pydantic version 2.4.0. It's essentially to note this as using other version of Fast API or Pydantic could lead to errors. For instance, Pydantic version 1 is not compatible with newer Fast API versions. With everything in place, creating a new Python file within your project called main.p and write the following code. If you need a moment, you can pause the video, but essentially it is an import from Fast API. So from Fast API, import Fast API, create an application instance by, instance by writing app equals Fast API, parenthesis, and then define the road. In this case, we'll make sure our hello world with add app dot get parenthesis slash. Create an asynchronous function, async dev root, which will handle the root and return the message hello world. This is your first API with Fast API. Now go to your terminal and run ubicorn main colon app dash dash reload. This will start the server. As you can see, the server is up and running on port 8000 on localhost 127.0.0.1. Clicking on that link will take you to the server and voila, you have created your first API. Inside the server, you will find the hello world message. If you visit the slash docs URL, Fast API will, will automatically generate interactive documentation. You can execute and receive responses directly through this documentation, which is built with OpenAPI. 
I hope you have learned something about Fast API. If you want to continue learning about this technology, let me know in the comments and I will make more videos on the subject. See you in the next one.